Welcome to the WorkMap Explainer video series. So today I'm gonna to show you how someone could use WorkMap to help automate a typical business process. We're actually going to be creating an application that a company could use to track their expenses. So let's jump right in and get started. So here we are at the WorkMap dashboard and the first thing that we're going to do is create our application. We're going to create it from scratch and we're going to call it expenses. Now we're going to create our workflow table. We're going to create this one from scratch also. And we're going to call this one expense approvals. So now that we have our workflow table created, we want to add the fields that we want to capture about the expense. So we already have the name of the expense and we're going to add a few more fields. So let's start off with adding a description field so we can get a description of the expense. We can double tap here, change the title to description. So I finished creating the fields I want to capture about each expense. First we have the category where I can simply select the category that the expense falls under. Then we have the amount of the expense, the date, the employee, the status of the expense, which is pretty much what phase it is in. Um, the receipts, here you can upload the receipts from your computer, any comments about the expense, and lastly the assignee, so who is the expense assigned to, the manager, the senior manager, or the billing manager. So now we're going to add some phases to help organize our workflow. Phases represent the steps within a workflow. So this first phase, phase one, we're actually going to call my expenses. Then the second phase we're going to call the manager approval. So I finished creating the rest of the phases and now we're going to create some automations to help our records move more efficiently throughout our workflow. So to create your first automation we're going to come down to this create your first rule button. And an automation is very simple. It is when this happens, do this. So the first automation that we're going to create we're going to call approved. And we want this automation to be so that when the status of a record is changed to approved that that record will then move to the approved slash rejected phase. So we're going to come here to when a record is updated and the field that we want to change is status. And the condition is when status is approved, then what are we going to do? We're going to move the record to the approved slash rejected phase. And we can save that and our first automation has been created. So I just finished adding a bunch of automations. The first one, as you can see, is called rejected, and it's pretty much the same as the approved one that I just showed you guys. And when the status is rejected, we're gonna move the record to the approved slash rejected phase. Um, we have one for submit for approval, so if the status is changed to submit for approval, it'll go to the manager approval page. Uh, if the status is more information required, then we want it to go back to the my expenses phase. We have two automations for how much the expense is. So if the expense is greater than $5,000, we're gonna assign this one to the senior manager who is Matthew Carlson. Then if it's less than $5,000, we're gonna assign it to our billing manager. And lastly, we have the approval email. So when an expense is approved, it's going to send an email to both the billing manager and the senior manager. And you can add whatever you want it to say here. So we have the subject approved expense and simply just a little message that says an expense has been approved. So if you want to create a report, maybe based on all the expenses or the expenses within a certain period of time, we would come to the reports tab and select new report. So we're gonna head back into our workflow and we're gonna look at one last thing. This workflow is really effective because of the permissions that it grants. Not everyone has access to everything in here. My employees can only see their particular expenses, while the managers can see and edit anyone's expense. You can change permiss permissions by using this permissions button next to the new phase button. And the last two things that are going to make this workflow extremely effective are the assignments tab and the notification bell. So the assignments tab is where the managers can easily track and organize their assignments and the notification bell is going to give people in the company notifications when their records are changed or when something important is changed.
So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you learned something. Check us out at workmap.ai for more videos and resources. Thank <laughs> you.